uh, greetings and welcome to Educate. Today we're just going to be looking frankly at what is the function of the pancreas. So you can see here we have got the esophagus coming down to the stomach. So where is the pancreas situated? So the pancreas is basically situated here, here. Here we find a leaf-like structure called the pancreas. So now we want to know exactly what the pancreas does to the human body. How does it help in the digestion process or in the maintenance of the body system of a person? So here we have got the pancreas. The pancreas is this structure. It has many functions. So some of the functions we've uncovered in terms of digestion that it is responsible for the breakdown of carbohydrates, of lipids and all that stuff. But then in this case, we will look at it as uh, responsible for regulating the blood glucose levels. The blood glucose levels. So the blood glucose levels are basically regulated or they are controlled. The regulation of something is basically the control of something. So the blood glucose level, what is a blood glucose level? So blood glucose level basically talk, talks about how much how much sugar or how much glucose have you got in your blood so what controls that glucose so supposedly you consume a lot of sugar so here you are eating you eat a lot of sugar sugar content so it means it contains much glucose so what happens to this glucose so the pancreas has certain cells in it called the cells of the isolate of lung hearts So these cells in the pancreas are basically responsible for secreting a certain hormone. So this hormone would be responsible for the control of sugar. Suppose you eat too much sugar, you eat a lot of sugar, a lot of sugar. It is supposed to, your body only needs maybe, maybe you eat 70 kg of sugar and then your body only needs 55 kg. So they will be some cages in excess so in excess it just means it's more than needed it's more than needed so there will be about 15 kg right 15 kg in excess so this 15 kg is is remaining after the body has absorbed the necessary glucose remember that glucose is absorbed in the blood capillaries of the villus so basically this 55 kg will be absorbed and then from the 70 kg 15 kg will remain as glucose in excess so where does the, this glucose go because it cannot force in to be absorbed into the body because the body has had enough so where does this glucose go so basically this glucose will be will, will, will be regulated by this structure called the pancreas so how does this happen so here the pancreas will release a hormone called insulin. So insulin is released into the blood. So what is the responsibility for insulin? The insulin in the blood will be, it will be secreted by the cells of the isolate of lung hearts in the pancreas into the blood. Remember, this is all about the regulation or the control of blood glucose levels or the control of sugar levels in your blood. So it means that the pancreas will release a certain hormone called insulin, which is able to control that blood. So what is insulin? So insulin is basically this hormone which stimulates or which makes the liver to to, to, to convert glucose into glycogen. Remember when we were talking about the fate of the, the, the fate of the amino acids and glucose is that the excess glucose is stored in the liver as glycogen. But then how does the liver do this? So it's through an adaptation called the insulin. So the insulin hormone is secreted by the pancreas. So the pancreas secretes this hormone. So this hormone will be able to stimulate or will be able to force that liver to absorb the excess glucose. So in this case, you can see the excess glucose, as per example, is 15 kg. So where will this excess glucose go? Well, it will go into the liver as glycogen.
it will go as glycogen no longer as glucose so what makes this to be converted is the insulin so the insulin will be will be able to convert this glucose to glycogen you can see glycogen will be uh, the glucose will be converted to glycogen and it will be stored in the liver so that's basically how the insulin how the pancreas controls sugar levels so suppose now you have uh you've hit, now we have talked about what happens to the excess glucose so how does this glycogen work now is it just stored for fun or something else important so here's something important for example now your blood sugar levels or your blood glucose level are low so it means they are low so what happens you need a lot of sugar maybe you don't have access to food which has sugar so how do you get that glucose to be in your blood because your blood really needs to absorb glucose so what happens so remember that the liver stores glycogen it forms it is stores glucose in form of glycogen so what happens is that the pancreas again will secrete or will produce another hormone so what is this hormone called it is called glucagon so what is the function of glucagon is to convert this glycogen to glucose back again so here's how it happens so remember that the function of the insulin was to 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 convert this excess glucose to glycogen and store it in the liver so the function of the glucagon in this case the glucagon hormone here is the glucagon hormone will be secreted by what by the pancreas will be produced by the pancreas and it will convert the glycogen in the liver remember that the glycogen is stored where in the liver so the glycogen in the liver will be reconverted again into glucose so what happens to this glucose because you have low sugar levels so this glucose will be secreted and then will be put in your blood remember that when you have low sugar levels it means your blood contains low sugar or low glucose in scientific terms so this glucose will be put into your blood into your blood and then your blood sugar levels will be back to high again or rather normal i mean high normal so they will be from low to high and then they'll go to normal so this is the basic function of the pancreas is to regulate and to con or to control the blood glucose level or the amount of sugar in your blood thank you for watching uh, greetings.